All right, number 11, we want to find the total volume of this figure, which is formed by taking a cylinder and a cone and putting them together. So to find the volume, the total volume, it's going to equal the volume of the cylinder plus the volume of the cone. Okay, so let's work on each one separately. The volume of the cylinder is one-third big B times H. And since the base is a circle, it's one-third pi r squared times h. Okay, one third, and let's look at our picture. If the volume, if the radius of the bottom is two, the radius of the top will be two as well, which gives us the radius of the cup. So it's one third pi times two squared, or that's just four, times the height of the cone, which is seven. So if we take four times seven, we get twenty-eight, and that's twenty-eight over three. All right, volume of the cone. Oh, and that was the volume of the cone, not the volume of the cylinder. Not quite sure why I did that. That would be volume of the cone. Volume of the cylinder is just big B times H, and that big B is still that circle, so it's pi r squared times H. And so we've got pi times 2 squared, or pi times 4, times the height of the entire cylinder which is 5, based on the diagram. So this would be 4 times 5, or 20 pi. So if we take our 20 pi and our 28 thirds, and we add them together, then we are going to get uh, 20 pi. 20 plus 28 thirds. We're going to get 29.3 repeating, so that's basically 29 and one-third pi units cubed. All right, moving on to number 12. We have a um, basically a rectangular prism that has had a rectangular prism drilled through the center of it, and we want to find the total surface area. So this is actually, this is pretty hard. So let's, let's think about this. Um, so we want this, um, first of all, I'm going to find the surface area of this whole object, uh, forgetting about the hole through the center, or center of it. So the surface area of this whole object would be, there are two bases plus perimeter times height. All right, well, the base is a 3 by 3 square, so I have 2 times, well, the area of that 3 by 3 square would be 9, plus the perimeter of a 3 by 3 square would be 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, so that would be 12 and the height they tell us is 7. So this is like the entire box. So 2 times 9 is 18, plus 12 times 7, which is uh, 12 times 7, 84, obviously. And add that to 18, and we get 102 inches squared. OK, so let's talk about surface. That's the area of the entire outside, but we also have the area of these rectangles formed when you drill through the center. So each one of those rectangles has the area of 1 times 20, and there are four of them. So I'm going to add to that 102 4 times 20, which is 80 inches squared. So basically now we're looking at a total of 182 inches squared. However, we have to take away one extra thing because the area of the bases that we found, the 9 for the area of the bases that we had, that 9 was this whole section, but we really need to take away this opening that will be caused when you drill through the, um, the surface. And the area of that opening, since it's a 1 by 1, the area is just 1 times 1, which is 1. And there's 1 actually on either end, right? And so that's in the surface area of 2. So I'm going to actually subtract away 2 inches squared. So our total will be 180 inches squared. All right, last but not least, find the volume of the hourglass looking, shape looking below. It is a cylinder, and it has had two cone holes drilled out. We want the volume of it. So 
the volume is going to equal the volume of the cylinder minus the volume, two volumes of the cones. So let's find the volume of the cylinder first. Volume of the cylinder is just big B times H, and big B is a circle, so it's pi R squared times H. And if the diameter, which is what this 8 is, is 8, then that means the radius will just be 4. So this is pi times 4 squared times the height of the whole cylinder, which is um, 12. So we've got 4 squared, which is just 16. So times 12, we get 192 pi for the volume of that cylinder. Okay, well how about the volume of a cone? The volume of a cone, we, as we said before, was one-third big B times H, and big B is a circle, so pi r squared times H. And if we go ahead and plug in what we have, r is 4, and so 4 squared is 16, and the height of just one of these cones is going to be 6, so I'm going to multiply it by 6. Um, so we've got 1 third times 6, which is 2, and 2 times 16 is 32. So this is 32 pi, is one cone. So that means two cones will be 64 pi. So to give our final answer, we're going to do what we said we would do, which was take this 192 pi and subtract away 64 pi's. So, 192 minus 64 is 128 pi centimeters cubed. All right, good luck studying.